My name is Alison Stevens. I'm now 51 years of age and I converted to Islam when I was uh, 47. I was born in England, but my parents are Irish Scots. My father was in the oil industry, so we moved all over the place. Uh, so I don't have any fixed roots anywhere, really. And we eventually ended up in Scotland in the early 70s. Apart from going to church services with the school at, at Christmas time, uh, there was no uh, religious upbringing at home at all. Secondary education was uh, mostly in Scotland. And again, there was uh, uh, compulsory religious education lessons. Uh, but we all resented, very much resented going to those because at that point, really most of us were secular and didn't see any need for religion and certainly didn't enjoy going to the church services that we had to go to at Christmas time. Uh, we respected religious, I ref, I've always respected um, religious people, um, but uh, for me it was not necessary. I didn't feel any particular yearning. To be honest, I felt religion caused a lot of problems um, and I was more interested in the human condition and caring for human beings. I called myself atheist. I was more 99% atheist, but there was this tiny little bit of me that couldn't quite call itself completely atheist. That's the whole beauty of the thing. I wasn't actually looking at religion at all. My hospital had recruited some people who were very evangelical Christians, and in fact, they were putting me really off of religion, completely. They were actually driving me away totally. And I'd got to the stage where actually I'd, my, you know, I'd written in my will that I wanted a non-religious burial, etc., etc. But what happened was um, every day when I went to work, they had the Bible open and they would quote bits of the Bible at myself and as other non-believers and would go on and on and uh, I don't know, in, reta in retaliation in a way, I was out in Richmond and I bought a lot of books. I bought the Quran, the Torah, 365 sayings of the Dalai Lama, and of course, how to be an atheist. So when they got to work on the Monday, I lined the books up next to theirs, and of course, when they saw this, I'm saying, well, seeing as you're so interested in religion, I felt it was time you broadened your horizons. I was so angry at them because they were splitting the unit and causing a lot of problems. And within a few days, they asked me to remove the books. And they promised they would no longer talk to any of us about religion. Fine. And I took the books home and was just flicking through them very quickly. And again, didn't feel anything particular, but I opened up the Quran thinking, okay, let's just see what this is all about. Quickly scanned through the first chapters and the first thing I read was, oh, the women. Oh, I'll read this, I'll read this. Opened it up and started reading it. And, um, Quite emotional, sorry. The shock was quite profound. Even now, it still is quite profound. <laughs> anyway, I remember reading the words and thinking, well, this isn't what I expected. And uh, I read a bit more and thought, uh, I can't believe what I'm reading. So I shut the book and thought, OK, I've read a bit now, that will do me. Um, but I couldn't stop reading it. So <clears throat> a few days later, I decided to read from the front. It was just wonderful. It was uh, so gentle, but very profound. It was very powerful, just reading the words. Uh, I desperately tried to rationalize it and uh, kept reading. And the more I read, the more it made sense. And as I say, it really was like a light had been turned on. Very bizarre for somebody who'd been so against religion. And I remember trying desperately not to believe what I was reading, resisting it. And at one point closing the Quran and thinking, I'm never gonna read this anymore. I'm not gonna read anymore, but I couldn't help myself. Um, it was a very um, 
strong thing, very strong. So after reading a few chapters, I thought, well, maybe my translation is wrong. And I decided to visit a mosque. I made the choice of choosing a mosque far away from where I live because I didn't want anyone to see me. And I went to the masjid and uh, pulled on a scarf and everything. <laughs> and met this imam who confirmed that what I was reading was the, not the most beautiful of translations, he said, but actually was accurate. Um, and I remember him saying, are you planning to convert? I said, oh, certainly not. I've just come about the book, you know. And I tried to make it some sort of intellectual exercise, but there was something deep inside that was changing, very, quite dramatically. And I got home that particular day, and I remember the imam kept saying to me it was a very special day, and I'm going, yes, I know, yes, it's a special day, and got home and turned on the television, and of course, again, vowing, right, I've done that now, I'm going to walk away from this. And it was the Prophet Muhammad's birthday that day. So how can you ignore something like that? <laughs> so a few days later, I came to work, and I took aside one of my Muslim colleagues, who's a, a doctor, and... Uh, she, was, uh, she thought I was going to tell her something dreadful about a patient, something awful had happened. And when I told her, she was uh, in quite, shock, quite a big shock, because I said, I don't know what to do. Um, and she then gently guided me. I, wasn't, I didn't feel coerced or forced. It was very much a decision that I wanted to make. I questioned myself constantly. Was this some sort of middle-aged crisis? was I, uh, you know, at one point I thought maybe I should just become a Christian because that was more traditional, but I just knew that wasn't right for me. So after a few weeks with her, I did my shahada, but I did it completely voluntary. There was no, I just felt inside it was right. Mengucapkan banyak terima kasih kepada teman-teman dari rumah zakat. Kami mengucapkan banyak terima kasih sekali. Ini suatu bantuan yang luar biasa yang kami terima. Terima kasih kepada rumah zakat yang telah membantu kegiatan pembangunan masjid Darul Anwar di Dusun Batu Sari di Satetar Kecamatan Kaluran Kabupaten Manggung ini.